all y'all. Just wanted to bring y'all this vlog as well because today we are making history. Angel City Football Club is doing their first match at Bank of California Stadium. This is their inaugural season, first season here in Los Angeles. The expansion team with uh, LAFC, obviously the woman version. So today we are making history as today will be the first game for them as well. So guys, I wanna take y'all on this journey and vlog about today. Uh, show y'all some important people who invested in the actual program. Well, hey, invested in the actual team here. So today just gonna be a vlog about that. And hopefully y'all enjoyed the game at Angel City Football Club. If you're ever in Los Angeles, feel free to come out to uh, Angel City Football Club. Just show y'all the stadium again. It's a lot of sun out here, but stay tuned and enjoy the vlog. at work again. I feel so disconnected from the car stuff right now because of work. Um, a lot of dope stuff coming to the channel. Obviously gonna be vlogging about my job here at Los Angeles Football Club, a major league soccer team here in Los Angeles, California. But today we're doing like a little event today. So I will just be vlogging about that. It's supposed to be a question and answers type of event today with one of the LAFC Los Angeles Football Club players and the general manager. So we're going to be vlogging about that. Hopefully the people who are fans of Los Angeles Football Club, you find this video, you find this channel and you find the support. So hey, stay tuned for that and we're going to get it rolling. Well, guys, I want to officially welcome y'all to the grand lobby in the Los Angeles Football Club. Y'all seen it in my LAFC experience video, so check out that. This sign a little crooked. Oh, the adhesive is... The screw's out, but... Y'all see it? Gotta go around. But, nice lobby, beautiful grand lobby. Follow me on TikTok, Instagram, all that stuff for more of the content. Front desk. But I just wanted to take y'all on a vlog again, like I said, of today. So hopefully y'all enjoy it. Let me know. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, because supporting is free. Free 99. Don't cost you a dime. But stay tuned. We're sort of with that. I hear that Hey, right out. How you doing? I think it's worth mentioning you can't play, but uh, the head coach for LAC is arguably the, the greatest fullback who's ever played for this country. Is that too strong. I mean, he, every time, every time I watch these World Talk Classic games, you see Steve Trimble ripping up there. 2010, uh, 2006, 2000. He's just there. Uh, it's uh, it's incredible, and you, that has to pay an impact 
when he's coaching. Joe, Cheeky. Joe, get this on camera. He, Steve is the best of all time. The best to ever do it. <laughs> Am I alone on that? <laughs> yeah, I, I would ask. I would be uh, right back. Uh, Beasley's up there, but Steve had three World Cups. So oh, Beasley, yeah, that's a good one. That's a good but shot. Those two are head and shoulders above. Well, that's got to be good for the players, uh, and you can, I think you see it particularly cheap in Palacios, who's gone from here to here. That's just my opinion, but I think a lot of people share it. I know Will certainly does. Well, this is interesting. This is a little multi-layered one. You might want to dig in on this. Can you discuss the impact of the complex salary cap rules when it comes to scouting new players? That was from Rob. I mean, we could be here for uh, two hours if you want. I, I grilled Will on this probably the last two days, maybe 20 questions, just through and through on the salary cap. So I, yeah, I, I, sh I should have to be able to answer, but no, I'll answer. I'm curious to hear what you think, because Jordan's just, uh, you know, part of Jordan's new role, and the front office side is trying to make sense of all this stuff. And, uh, that's kind of been my responsibility up until now. So, uh, but you guys have to be leery of that. So you got to get, got, I mean, obviously you look for DPs, but you look for guys that can fit under the salary cap. And I could list off a lot of guys that have been discovered by LAC that fit that bill who have gone on to bigger and better things. I think the key is uh, finding good value. You know, players who are not super expensive and won't occupy a huge amount of your salary cap. I think one of the things that you see far in sporting directors and GMs who come into this league one of the things they struggle with is the value of the average American player. Right? I think they look abroad and they say, oh, I know that these players in Switzerland or France or what have you um, that are better than these guys. But I think 